Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, we are going to look at this layover travel blanket from the company Gravel. And before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Gravel who did provide these products for review. Now Gravel is a company who produces travel items. So different gear and items that are good for the travel application. So when I say travel, what I really mean is say maybe taking a flight or going on a road trip, something like that. But for me, when I saw this layover travel blanket, I knew it would definitely apply to me in the hiking, camping, and backpacking application. And that's the first thing I'm gonna say is why would I be looking at a travel blanket for the hiking and the camping application well bottom line is for me it pretty much goes like this when i look at products to review many many times there are products that are very specific for their intended purpose but every now and then i do come across some products that for me really would fit a perfect niche even if they're not necessarily originally intended for that purpose. And that's exactly what's happening here with the layover travel blanket. Now granted this is really meant for the travel application but I do see some great benefits to this potentially being used in the outdoors. So what we're going to do is look at my field use footage from a recent backpacking trip where I got this layover travel blanket out into the field, out into the deep wilderness, and I used this to supplement my kit. And then we're going to come back to the studio, look at this in some detail, and I have a number of different features that I'm going to show you. Now if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. The Gravel Layover Travel Blanket, measuring 41 inches wide by 67 inches long. The packed up size is 7 inches by 5 inches by 3 inches and weighs in at a small 12.43 ounces. So very nice and compact unit. This blanket's made of a 20D nylon and has 40 grams per square meter of recycled insulation. It has an anti-static and waterproof coating. So good morning, I'm out here at this beautiful river after a great day of hiking and camping yesterday. And this morning, it's quite early. I'm up, made my coffee, and I'm enjoying my time here. Now everybody else is still asleep. I expect they're gonna be asleep for a while. And I'm just gonna sit here, relax, and enjoy my coffee while I just stare at the scenery, and that's exactly what I want to do out here. But, it's just a little bit chilly. Now, I don't need a lot of extra, and I don't really, at this particular moment, want to necessarily wear my down jacket. I packed it in the bottom of my bag. I had this little travel blanket here from the company Gravel, and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity just to use this and get an understanding of what it can do for me. Now, real quick, I just have it kind of snapped up around my neck, over my shoulders, and covering my back, which right now is just about the perfect coverage while I'm sitting around here, just kind of keeping my backside warm and um, gonna sit on the rocks and enjoy myself, give myself a little bit of insulation while I sit there. Now I'm not saying I'm using this in a completely unintended fashion, but I am using it a little bit different than I think gravel was intending. I actually found that if I just kind of snap this in the front, it helps keep this all nice and wrapped around me, but it's a little bit on the small side. If this travel blanket was literally like two or three inches wider, it would almost be perfect for this. And the other thing that would be nice as if at this point I had the ability to pull a nice little hood up over my head. So again, this is a travel blanket. This is not made for this wilderness application, but I'm making this work out here to try it. And I think there's a lot of merit here. This particular blanket is very, very compact. And what I like about it is it's a good quality insulation source and it's similar to almost in a way a sleeping bag liner only with actually insulation. Most sleeping bag liners are pretty much just like fabric or you know something fairly thin 
It adds a little bit of an R value, but not too much. This, I think, could be a great option if you wanted to add like 20 or 30 degrees to your sleeping bag and just have a nice lightweight addition to your kit. So for me, I think this could be a great product with a couple of minor modifications and really adapt it to this outdoor application. It's pretty nice, keeping me warm, it's keeping the wind and cold off of my back right now, and it's absolutely the perfect, perfect piece while I'm out here enjoying this river, sipping on my coffee. And now the other reason why I say for me, if you could just add a couple inches of material, you'll notice this would pretty much snap together perfectly. So right now, I can get it to snap, but I don't have any ability to move. If this had just a little more fabric, I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking honestly, a foot would be nice. I mean, with a foot of material, or maybe eight inches, I'd have the ability to snap this whole thing up, snap it all together, wear it over my shoulders, and get the benefit of something that I can wear this blanket out here and this is very nice. Now, you will notice here, these are technically foot pockets. Um, so in theory, you can slide your feet into these when the blanket's in the opposite direction, but that's not how I'm wearing this right now, and it wouldn't be feasible, and plus, I mean, I got my boots on. But theoretically, you can do that. Now, one thing that I found is these are not insulated. So if this was gonna be used for the outdoor application, this might be better off if it had just a little bit of insulation in there. But again, keep in mind, that's not the intent for this blanket. I'm just using it in a different way. So I kind of see an additional product coming out of this if Gravel was interested in making a second product that really tailored more to the outdoor wilderness application versus the travel application. This product is a great, great baseline to do that so call it like a blanket platform you could actually make a couple different versions of this one that's a little bit heavier has a little more insulation has a little bit more length can snap together have the hood and then also adding the insulation for the foot pockets I think this thing would be pretty sweet I like this blanket a lot it's very comfortable and it warms up quick so it's doing a great job out here again just keeping in mind I'm using it for a purpose that's not its original intended purpose. And so another little concern that I have is the durability of this fabric against all the hard rocks. Now I don't think you're gonna damage it with the one caveat being if you were to sit on it and move around. So if you look real quick, you'll notice that there is no real like durable seating capability on this in this configuration. If kind of in this one spot you had a little bit more durable panel, that would be pretty nice. So that would give you the durable ability to sit on these rocks and not cause any damage. So just thinking outside the box here, wondering if Gravel would be interested in making a nice wilderness version of this because it would be awesome. So here you can see the stuff sack, and it's pretty cool. They actually give this a little snap, so if you want, you can attach it directly to the blanket so you don't lose it. I think that's brilliant. I love that addition. And it's a nice little stuff sack. I mean, definitely a quality little stuff sack. And if you look, this is made of a ripstop nylon, which I think would be a nice material to use as that reinforced area on the back of this. This feels good and durable. It's gonna be a little bit abrasion resistant. And I think versus the softer material, if there was just a patch of this on the backside while I was using it as kind of that like jacket or you know, like a shawl type of uh, application, I think this would work great. They already have the material to make the bags. And it looks like maybe even that's what they use uh, around the perimeter here. I can't tell exactly if it's a little bit thinner here, uh, but obviously they have the material. I think that would be a perfect addition to this. And so now getting this put away, very easy, typical stuff sack, but plenty of room for this, which is nice. It's efficient. It's not overly large, but it's large enough that this nicely fits. Now again, 
completely stuffing that in here, you'll see that this has a nice drawstring design. And as you squash this down, it really holds it nice and compact. That is just a sweet little package there. And it actually has this extra little fabric, which you can tuck in and helps protect it just a little bit. So overall, as you look at this, very nicely done from the blanket all the way through the stuff sack, very cool. And I like also that this has an attachment point. So again, thinking outside the box a little bit, but it's always nice when you can attach things to the outside of your pack, get them out of the inside of the pack. And maybe that could be the case here where you almost have like a molly webbing, which is awesome. So a lot of the packs that I use out in the wilderness use certainly the ability to strap things on, sometimes molly, lashing points and things like that. So very nicely done. And if this was maybe a little bit waterproof or water resistant, then you wouldn't really worry too much about your sleep system or this additional blanket being on the outside of your pack. But versatile, compact, lightweight, warm, I like this. Great job, Gravel. All right, so now back in the studio. I hope you enjoyed that field use footage. This gravel layover travel blanket definitely coming into play. Now, as you saw, it's not exactly perfect. And as you heard me say time and time and time again, of course I was using this for a use that was not its true necessary intended purpose. But overall, I have to say I greatly enjoy this blanket. So if you saw it in good field use and think it's something that would apply to you, well, not only do you get the benefit of having seen it being used out in the wilderness, but now you get to look at all the great features up and close. And I can tell you, this is jam-packed with little detail far beyond what I was able to show while I was out in the field. And so the first thing first, this is how it comes to you all packaged up nicely. So I do actually have two of these and that definitely comes into play. So this one here in a slightly different color, we will get into it. So you saw I had the gray while I was out in the field, but now we're gonna take a look at this one here as I get it unpackaged so you can see all the details, but this one here in blue. And so that's the first thing, you do have your choice of gray or blue at this particular time. And these blankets seem to be very popular. I did some research and I do see that thousands and thousands of these have sold. So this is a very popular product. So very cool and I like the idea that, you know, again, for me, I'm able to really adapt this to my needs and I think you'll find the same. So here, as we open this up and slide it out, you will see this comes nicely rolled up and comes with a little brochure. Now, this product is made of many recycled materials. So the insulation and the batting is a synthetic material, but it is a recycled material. So gravel paying attention to the details and trying to be responsible. So I definitely respect that. And as we get in here, you'll see the stuff sack is nicely rolled up inside. And here, this blue, this is a very nice color, sort of like a, a deep midnight blue. Just nice with that gray trim on here and very, very similar in all ways really from the gray except for the color. So now that we have a second one here, let's look at all the details and I'll show you how if having two of these, it really does come into play. Now I think it's interesting. One of my first observations is when you get into the gray blanket and the one that I brought with me in the field, you will notice that the bulk of the snaps are actually orange on this um, or gray. So a bunch of them in gray kind of blends in and a number of them in orange. Well, the first thing I do see as I look through the blue here, blue snaps and I'm looking for an alternate color. The alternate color on this one is gray. So uh, you don't have quite the same, I would say pop in the snaps on the blue version as you do with the gray version. Well, why does that matter? Well, it's actually kind of a funny thing. When you look up close, the orange snaps have alternate functions. So not just snapping it together, but for example, if you were to clip 
these two orange snaps together, well, that's what becomes your, and it's not really a hood, but it's kind of like that neck enclosure. And those are the two that I was snapping together as I had this pulled over my shoulders. So these are bright. They catch your attention. You know where you're kind of going for. And in a very similar fashion, you also have the alternate color here on the travel bag. So the idea being that if you wanted to snap this all together, just look for those orange snaps and it's nice and quick. On the blue, it's gonna be a little bit different, not quite as noticeable, but the gray snaps are really the alternate snaps on the blue model. So a little subtle, um, just minor details, but just kind of pointing out my observations. Now there are features that I didn't go through while I was out there. One of the things that I do wanna really point out here is the nice kangaroo pocket. Now, I didn't talk about this at all, but this kangaroo pocket is a fleece lined pocket. So as you look here, that is a nice soft fleece. Now, if you were using this in the travel application and you just wanted to warm your hands a little bit, well, that works out mighty nice where this is just right here in front of you, keeps your hands nice and toasty. And I can tell you just in a minute, not you know, matter of seconds of putting my hands in here, it definitely warms my hands up. So between having the batting insulation behind your hands and that nice fleece lining, it definitely does a great job warming your hands. And you'll also see on the front here, this nice zippered pocket. Now this is also fleece lined on the inside, but what you can see is I can invert this into that pocket. And this is gonna make myself a nice little travel pillow pretty quick and easy. And the zipper here is a reversible zipper. So just swiveling it around and zipping that shut. Now, this is not the largest of pillows. However, it does work. And in fact, if you're just looking for something to kind of kick back a little bit and cradle your neck, it actually feels really good. I actually like this. I like the amount of loft that you get. It's not too much. It actually works quite well. And I do like that fleece lining. That is very nice. So this working overall pretty well. Now you'll see this is that ripstop material on the back side with the zipper. And there is a little lanyard tag there. So if you wanted to clip something on, and even if you had this inverted and you were using it and you wanted to clip something to the pocket, you could definitely do that too. But very nice. And for me, even if I didn't need this as a supplementary, I would say like shell or uh, added warmth or sleeping bag liner, what I could potentially do, and I say it all the time, when I'm hammock camping, I really like to have something beneath my knees. And this is perfect where that just helps to cradle your knees. And when you're in that hammock, it just gives you that little bit to bridge your knees so that they're not straining overnight. So a good size for that and just about perfect, or you could use it as a pillow. So a number of reasons why this just really does come into play for that hiking, camping and backpacking application. But now taking this back out, there is actually an additional pocket. So as I invert this and getting it back into place, again, if I was to put this on like a blanket, this is that kangaroo pocket. Well, over on the side here, you'll see this zippered pocket here. And that is where, if you want to, you can also attach your pouch. So clipping these together, this can be stored easily inside here, no problem. And that gets it nice and stowed away so you don't accidentally lose it. So again, gravel thinking of the details. I like that. I like when companies have little practical solutions that are very basic and simple, and they've thought that through. So, so far, very nice. I greatly enjoy this. And again, just to reiterate my earlier point, which is if you open this up, the alternate color on the gray being the orange. So getting the pouch and now clipping these together, there you go. And so you heard me saying, well, if you had two of these, it would give you an advantage. Well, what is that advantage? At the end of the day, two of these can be snapped together to actually make a larger blanket or almost like a sleeping bag. 
So taking a quick look here, I'm gonna go with my orange snap and my gray snap. So again, those alternate colors, meaning that there's a function. And then running from the top down to the bottom on my standard colored snaps. So the blue snaps on the blue and the gray snaps on the gray. And you'll notice that on the alternate sides, you have a male snap and a female snap. So perfectly going together and these snapping together from top to bottom. And so now as you look at this, you can see this is fully snapped together and taking a look at the opposite. So here you go. So that working out pretty well where now it is completely doubled in size and it is definitely big enough to completely at this point wrap entirely around me. So I'm just gonna take a second here. I'm gonna snap the rest of this together. So again, starting in the corners with the orange and the gray and now working my way from the top all the way down to the bottom. So it only takes a minute, not too difficult. These snaps do seem to work very well. I found with other products in the past, these haven't worked incredibly well, but I find that on this gravel blanket, they are definitely a quality snap. And if you look at the details up close, you can see these are just that plastic style snap. And again, finishing this up. So again, this has plenty of size now that I have snapped two of these together. It's fairly large. In fact, I can just slide my arms out the holes just to hold this up while we talk about it. And you'll notice at this point that the kangaroo pocket is now on the inside and also your foot box. So this having those leg pockets and the insulated foot box here, uh, that at this point is on the inside so I can slide my feet in as I slide these into place, get this up. And the only thing that's funny to me is that the kangaroo pocket is now on the inside. And for me, it's actually the wrong length. So now that I have my feet in the foot box on the ground, this is actually very short. So if you look at the height of this pocket, this pocket is not very high. So it's awkward for me and my height to get my hands in here. I wish this pocket was higher up. It would work much better for me where that would be natural for my hands to go in here. Instead, the pocket's way down low, almost at my waist, and that's just a little bit awkward. So the blanket for somebody of my height, I am six feet, doesn't have the best geometry. I would think that overall, I'd rather have that pocket higher up. So it again, as I wrap up and put my hands naturally into the blanket, they would fall right in inside that kangaroo pocket, nice and comfortable. To me, it's down low and it's just not a natural position to sit in and everything kind of tugs a little bit. So that one thing for me is the only downfall. I would like to see that kangaroo pocket higher up. For shorter people, it won't be a problem, but I think you need to be quite a bit shorter. I mean, instead of six feet, you'd have to be like five feet tall for it to be comfortable. So that to me is a little bit of a miss, but other than that, these gravel travel blankets are excellent. And so yeah, two of them being able to snap together, that's definitely cool. So if you're, you know, on the road with a companion and you just want the ability to kind of get close, well, that'll work. If you wanted to use these double wide and spread them out, definitely works. If you want to carry two of them for yourself, give yourself a little bit of a sleeping bag. And in a short amount of time, these definitely warm up. So I can tell you that insulation works very, very well. And so with that, yeah, the gravel travel blanket, this layover travel blanket being wonderful. I have greatly enjoyed this. I like having it with me on the trails. If I could make my own version of this, I know exactly what I would do to make this a perfect companion piece for that outdoor wilderness application. Add a little bit of a durability factor, make it just a slightly different geometry so that it worked a little bit better. But I do have to say overall, this product is excellent. I do greatly enjoy it. And so again, I'd like to say thank you very much to the people at Gravel for providing this for review. 
I greatly enjoy this. I think there's a lot of application here, not just for me in the outdoor camping and backpacking application, but obviously for the bulk of people who may be using this for their travel needs. Now, even on top of that, nice compact size. You could use this as part of an everyday carry kit. I would think it would absolutely work. Maybe you have the opportunity to utilize a blanket some point in time, whether you're on the road, you're driving, maybe even at your workplace, if you have the luxury, I know a lot of places you can even take naps, it just depends. Um, but I think this to me is really something that pretty much everybody could use in some capacity. Overall, great quality, nice features, good thought process. And if you end up seeing a wilderness version of this, well, you know where Gravel got the ideas. Hopefully they'll potentially take my ideas and roll with it. So we'll just see. I would like to get this kind of beefed up a little bit, and give me the opportunity to take this out into the wilderness with a little more, I would say, change in the details, a little more ruggedness, and maybe some minor tweaks to the overall geometry. But either way, the gravel layover travel blanket is definitely sweet. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.